All right, YouTube, what's going on, guys? I'm back again with another video for you. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make some like vintage guitar samples, something you hear on like a little key type beat or maybe like a gunna type beat. You probably even hear like a trippy red or something like that on one of these, but I'm gonna be showing you guys a secret little free plugin that I know about. Pretty gas guitar sample library, um, or library, not sample library, but uh, you know what I'm talking about, but let's jump right into this video. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is pull up the actual VST, which is called Labs. So this is a VST client that they have tons and tons of free plugins and they got a bunch of paid ones too, but like their plugins are super high quality. So the one we're gonna be using today is actually called Moon Guitar. So I'm gonna be using this one right here. You can go to, I think it's called labs.com or something like that. Just type in Labs VST, you'll find it. And I uh, get the Moon Guitar one. So that's what I'm gonna be using today. So I'm gonna set my BPM to like 1, 117. Get a nice slow BPM going there. And I'm gonna show you guys what I usually do to make these uh, these guitar samples. All right, so first thing you're gonna wanna do is find your root note, which is B for me, just right, right here. And if you're in a minor scale, you do uh, from the root note, starting at zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This so usually works with any scale I believe, but that's a quick little tip to lay down some chords. So I'm gonna just try and find some good chords for you guys and then I'll be right back. All right, so here's the uh, two chords I picked. So I'm gonna be building pretty much the entire sample around this. So first thing I'm gonna do, all right, so if you're playing a guitar, realistically, you're never gonna hit all your notes at the same time. So you're gonna wanna strum it. So usually what I do is I just change it to half step and I just pull them out or just one, one step each note. Cool, so I'm done with that and I'll let you guys listen to what I got so far. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna bring this into the playlist. I'm gonna route it to mixer track one, just so I could arm it for recording, which is down here, this little button right here. And then I'm just gonna make sure I have record selected and I'm gonna just play this and it's gonna record it as a audio file. All right, perfect. So now I'm gonna unselect record. I'm gonna unarm that. And then I'm going to normalize this just to make it a little louder. Bring it to one, I'm gonna turn the volume down. All right, now we're gonna go for that like vintage sound. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this plugin called uh, Cassette by Waves. You can realistically do this with any, there's a bunch of free plugins out there. I know. Um, Isotope Vinyl is one of them. I personally just like Waves, it's a little better. All right, so this is what it sounds like with cassette on it. As you can see, it kind of just adds like uh, that cassette feel a little bit more vintage, but I'm um, not done there. So what I'm gonna do next is uh, add a compressor. You can do this with any compressor. I'm gonna be using our compressor from Waves. I can find it uh, yeah, right here. So what you're gonna wanna do is just have a, a pretty slow attack. Not too fast, but not too slow. And then you want the release to be pretty quick. And I want a, a pretty high ratio, and we'll just bring this uh, threshold down until it starts compressing it a little bit. All right, cool. So basically what that compressor is doing is just taking the uh, like the peaks and just bringing them way down so everything's more of an even waveform, and it just makes it sound a little bit more like it's like up in your face. So that's, And that's what I was trying to go for with this guitar. So to make this melody sound a little bit more full, what I'm going to do next is go and add... Uh, this plugin called Lounge Lizard, which is an electric piano plugin, and I want to just find some piano preset that I can use to make it sound a lot more full. So I'm gonna copy the melody over, paste it, create a new pattern called Piano, drag it in there. 
Oh, my bad, I did that too quick. Now I'm gonna go into pattern one, grab the melody, then go to piano, p pattern two and paste it in. All right, cool, so that's way too overbearing right now. So first thing I'm gonna do is track that out to this mixer track, throw a little few, uh, fruity EQ on there, take out a lot of the lows, <coughs> a bunch of the highs. I'm kind of just like a radio EQ. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add a delay. I'm gonna be using Valhalla uh, delay right here. I'm gonna change it to note and I'm gonna make it a 31, 32 note delay. I'm gonna bring the mix down to like 30-ish percent and I'm gonna bring the spread up. So this is gonna make it sound, you'll see, it's gonna make it sound pretty cool. It's almost like a reverb. <laughs> So as you can tell, it's like super spacey and with the guitar, this is gonna sound pretty cool. So yeah, I'm already liking where this is going a lot. So now I'm thinking we could probably add, I'm gonna go with a flute. So I've always had a pretty hard time finding flutes, so you're really gonna have to do some digging to find a good flute. But what I'm gonna be using today is this plugin called Mellotron V. Uh, it's a preset called Strawberry Flutes. So I'm gonna go in and see what I can. All right, so this is what I got for the flute. I haven't processed it yet, so it's pretty dry, but I'm just gonna give you guys an idea of what's going on right now. <laughs> So now I'm, I'm really liking how this is sounding so far, but what I think it's missing is like an extra guitar. So I'm gonna go back into labs. I'm gonna grab the moon guitar again. And I'm gonna just see if I could add like some counter notes. Cool. So yeah, I think that's sounding good. Added just like it adds like just a tiny bit more bounce. But uh, next thing I'm gonna do is open up Omnisphere. You could do this with any piano plugin you've got, but uh, I'm gonna be using Omnisphere uh, specifically Keyscape. So as soon as this loads, there we go. I'm gonna go right to Keyscape library and I'm gonna just grab this LA Custom C7 Softest preset. I'm gonna go in and just make some actual chords that are short. So I'm gonna duplicate that and route this piano to mixer track number four. I'm gonna solo it so I can get a good idea of what I'm doing. First add an EQ, destroy some of the bass and a lot of the highs again. And then what I'm gonna add is RC Retro Color just to add some grit and a little bit of space, and I'm also gonna widen it out a lot. Okay, next thing I would do is actually go into the mixer track, and this is just gonna be processing like the, the sample as a whole. So I'm gonna grab every single uh, part of the melody that's routed to a mixer track, select them all, and you do this by holding control or command on your keyboard and just going through and holding down click and just scrolling past. I'm gonna grab one through four, and I'm gonna go to the fifth mixer track, right click down this little button right here, and go to route to this track only. So what I'm gonna do is first add uh, cassette again, just to make it sound even more vintage. And that's pretty much it for that part of the sample. I mean, the last thing I would do is just add a bass and I'm gonna be going to my favorite bass library, which is an Omnisphere. I'm gonna be using the, uh, what's it called? Trillion. Trillion library, so you go to uh, bass instruments and I'm always be using a uh, clean Fender full range. This, in my opinion, just sounds the best. And all I'm gonna do for this is just copy the bass notes.
so that's everything. That is how I would make a little keyed guitar vintage sample. I hope I taught you guys something. If you did learn anything from this video, hit that like button, subscribe. I'm trying to upload some more videos for you guys, but uh, that is all I got for now. If you want to hear the sample with drums, stay to the end of the video and you can hear that. But that's all I got for now, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.